I've been building up the blocks like a me. Elliot uh, uh, got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my God, uh, boy, he got it glide. Uh, oh my God, uh, boy, that boy on top. Uh, sip and walk, uh, make my heart stop. Uh, all these hoes, uh, yeah, my Hello, love. Hello, everybody. Yo, go. Put on. How's everybody doing today, guys? My name is Ethan, and welcome back to the Go Battle League, where today we are hopping into the Great League. I messed that up. It's not the Great League. It's the Psychic Cup, guys. What am I talking about? We are hopping into the Psychic Cup and featuring a very, very underrated, fun team that actually led me to a 15-0 stretch. I'm not kidding. I was so surprised when this happened but it literally did happen and I am just amazed. So we are gonna hop into the battles right away here and look at this team. So I'm gonna just hop into the battles right away, just keep it rolling here, but you can see the team on the left-hand side and one thing you'll notice right away is that I don't even have all of the moves unlocked for these Pokemon. And that is just because it's not necessary, right? Um, we have a very spicy pick, guys, and that is going to be Latias. Now, the reason I have put Latias into this uh, team here is because it has Dragon Typing, which means it's going to resist V-Creates like you see there. Now, it is extremely squishy, so, you know, it's not going to be able to tank three V-Creates, but... It's also going to be able to do very well against a lot of things. One thing you do have to watch out for is the Charmers, like this Gardevoir here. Gardevoir, obviously one of the scariest mons in this cup, just because if you are able to get through with the Charms against something that is like a dark type like the Malamar here or anything else, it's going to be very scary. Now, they are going to be bringing in one of the best picks that is not known and that's going to be Claydol. I do also have a Claydol made, so you may be seeing a Claydol video come out a little bit later. But we're going to swap in. I don't know why I said swap. Swap in Malamar here, guys. And we are going to go for a foul play. They are going to be able to go for a Shadow Ball here, but I'm going to be able to get up to the back-to-back -back foul plays. Now, here is the idea with this team. The idea is that you get some really good neutral early damage with Dragon Breath and possibly get a shield with the Thunder. Most people think that you're going to be running some nuke move because you take so long to get up to a Thunder with the Dragon Breath. So they do believe that you are going to be able to hit them with something that's pretty good. So they are going to end up tending to shield this thing. They're going to swap it a Bronze on here. Now, I never know. Do you guys know what move Bronzong has that is like super effective against... I th is it is it C ancient or what am I saying? Is it hidden power? I I just don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up real quick. I might honestly just look it up right in the middle of this video, guys, just because I do want to know what thing does it have? Um, because it yeah, it was very good against me in a lot of the matches. Now even. The MVP of this match is definitely going to be the Victini. As you can see, I have it running Quick Attack, V Create, and Focus Blast. Let me tell you right off the bat, if you do not want to spend 100 kanji candies to get a second move on this Pokemon, please do not. It's it's not worth it. It's Focus Blast. You can have access to Psychic or Overheat. Really, if you want Overheat, it's going to be doing more damage than a V Create, but it's a lot more energy. So it's really up to you guys what you want to do, but... If it was up to you, want I would say stave the Stardust, guys. Not worth it to unlock another move. So let's look at that Bronzong. Bronzong has access to Confusion, but it also has access to Faint Attack. So that is the move that people were using against me. I could not think of it because obviously Faint Attack is not one that you uh, generally see often. And in the next one, we have a Zatu, and here's the crazy thing. Zatu has access to some move, again, that's going to be doing super effective damage. And I do believe this is also going to be Faint Attack, now that I think about it. Um, just because it's doing a lot of damage, we are going to be able to go off with the Thunder here. Now, Thunder is obviously going to be doing super effective damage. Zatu is a flying type. Oh, shook my entire stuff right here. Um... But we actually are able to win the matchup. Now, Latios is actually sneaky good with the Dragon Breast. Just does so much damage. Now, if you have the Shadow version of Latios, and possibly would suggest using it. I'm not 100% sure. Definitely good to have a move on it, though. Um, 
having thunder is able to get me some shields rather than you know frustration that does zero damage so they're going to be able to go for the payback here i'm going to be able to go for another foul play and the reason malamar is on this team is because it is so spammy with the foul plays guys it's almost necessary to have it now here is a very close match obviously once we get to the back-to-back -back v creates it is over quick attack is able to generate energy so quickly now it is so nice and now it is victini's move basically one of the only mons that actually uses quick attack um, in its move set not just in a um cup but this is obviously the dream lead we want to see victini on the lead here because we are able to very easily tank a v create um, we would be able to take two, but eh, not most likely. We are going to be able to get off this thunder here, guys. And this thunder is going to do huge damage to this Lugia. Oh my god. And they decide not even to throw the sky attack. So I'm going to go right away for the foul play. Might as well have the health rather than the energy. And they literally leave the match, guys. Last match here for today. Um, just a quick video, but this team is awesome. Again, 15-0. I'm only showing five of them just because I don't want to waste your time. But guys, but try this team out, please. If you don't have a second move on any of the mods, you can see here, I don't. You don't necessarily need it. Now, we are going to be going up against a Cresselia, which is definitely a hard move set to beat. I know I'm going to be able to uh, tank one of the moon blasts very well because these cycle cuts are going to do zero damage to me now they do end up shielding even though the moon blast got an attack fall and i think that was a mistake by the opponent because you can see this foul play did not do that much damage now i could shield here or i could let it go and take the shield advantage which is exactly what i'm going to do now i definitely could bring in victini here that's definitely a good mon to bring in just because it resists every single move that Cresselia could possibly throw obviously grass not is resisted by the fire type and the moon blast is also resisted by the fire type and the psycho cut are resisted by its psychic typing so it's got a really good type we're going to get up to basically 100 percent energy here and we are going to be able to throw the v create here obviously it's going to drop our defense a little bit they're going to bring in their own victini here and i feel fine throwing a v create here this v create still does a lot of uh not very effective damage that's just how powerful this pokemon is i'm gonna end up shielding here and they bring in a malamar guys if this malamar decides to shield this thunder we have a v create in the back and that's definitely going to take him out but they do decide to not shield and now it is completely up to victini to be able to outpace this malamar to back to back v creates and that's exactly what i'm able to do here as you can see i'm up to two v creates but guys I just wanted to show off how good Quick Attack is now. Do not even need to throw the moves. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like in the comment section below. Please let me know which battle was your guys' favorite. One, two, three, four, or five. Guys, hopefully you're enjoying the Psychic Cup as much as I am. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.